Here I go for a wet weather ride. That's a little ominous. I'm going to put on the glasses so that I can see. Go ahead and hand me my camera. I've wrapped it in saran wrap. And we're going to go out for a ride. On the trek line. You keep the home fire safe here, Ernie. I'm going to go get wet. Uh, we'll also be learning whether this uh, Trek line, which works, shifts automatically and electrically, whether it works well in the rain. Here we go. I'm holding the camera in front of my face. Got it wrapped in Saran wrap. Oh, it's a rainy day. This is a Florida sun sun shower. It may stop in a few moments or it may get rainier. And uh, you'll just have to put up there. It just shifted into second gear. What more could you ask for a lime to do? Because the bike is fitted with Freddy fenders, Planet bike fenders, and uh, I've got these nice slicks made. They're, they're, they're hanks. Not the big hanks, but the Von Trazer regular size hanks. Barely will fit the front crown of a lime. The rear tire is no problem, but I've got fenders front and rear, so even though I'm getting soaked, this is welcome to Coconut Grove in late September. It's rainy. This is the best time for a bike ride because there aren't many cars around. It's also uh, very warm. So I'm in a white t-shirt for visibility. And I, I think I'm going to stop the bike for a moment. Because <laughs> the saran wrap, I've never done this before. I hope the camera doesn't fail because of this. The saran wrap really needs to be stretched there. There's some droplets of water. The saran wrap is now not clinging. I may well ruin this camera in the course of this experiment. Uh, but let, let's see if I can, what happens when I touch my t-shirt to the lens. Yeah, that, that, that helps. Sorry for the seasickness effect. Okay, let's start again. We'll go see the, uh, there's a park nearby, and then we'll call this video quits. Uh, it proves that the bike does work in the rain. They've just shifted into second gear. It's set for infinity focus, so I doubt that the cyclometer can be read, but I'm going eight miles an hour. It shifts at seven. Now we're turning on uh, Barbarossa Avenue. This little street goes down to a sunken park that was originally a rock quarry. Remember, Florida is made of limestone. Never have uh, earthquakes here. This rose out of the sea, or rather the sea sunk eons ago, 10,000 years ago, and so all the coral life that was here became encrusted and rocky. And anyway, the early builders had to quarry stone for making the roadways and making concrete, and this is it. We're coming up to it now. And uh, you see now with fenders, oh, I like this. I'm not getting my ass wet at all, but I'll probably, because I'm looking through dirty glasses. Can you see the park? This park, now I'm at uh, 18 feet above sea level, but this park actually, I'm not using this coaster brake, let's get up here to where I can stop, take a little view around. I, I try to do a slow pan. The park is, was excavated starting around 1900, 1902. That's a banyan tree. It's from India. Those things are eternal. They never blow over in hurricanes and they never die. And then that's Royal Ponciana. And over here, the shady part, it goes anyway. It's, it's, a, it's a city block in size, and this is where they quarried coral stone for building, uh, building our roadways. Let's see if I can, with one hand, ride the bike down the slope. It's about a, oh, I'd say a one in four slope. I won't be able to pedal up, not, no way, but uh, kaboom. I'm sitting on a thud buster, and uh, I may slip and fall on my ass, in which case, the memory card will survive if I don't, at least the memory card will survive. Here we go. Now I'm sitting on the seat, I'm on the thud buster, and I'm going over a root, root. And I'm not talking about Australia. Okay, here we are in the grassy area. I really ought to take off my glasses because I can't see through them. There. Now I can see. 
it just shifted into first gear. That's a dog clutch sound inherent with a three-speed automatic. The squeak squeak was my rubber sandals on the pedals, not the bike. The bike is just about silent. Here we have a little uh, children's playground area. Get another vantage point. I'm going to stop. And there's a family well over there and uh, minding their business. And I, I pardon the camera trick. There is a huge banyan tree. It must be, oh, 50 feet tall and 80 years old. They're absolutely hurricane proof. And unless you trim them, that tree would actually drop what are called adventitious roots. And it would cover this entire grassy area if they didn't keep it under control. Let's, let's take a ride across the turf and go, I'll show you what an adventitious root is because a lot of you fellows and girls don't live in areas where we have tropical vegetation like this. The squeaking is my rubber pedals, my rubber, my rubber shoes, not the bike. Okay, so here we are in the shade. Let me stop and do a macro focus. Here you see this, one. I'm going to get off the bike because I want you to see this interesting tree. This is one of the larger banyan trees. It's one of the largest banyan trees. Let's try that again. Okay. And because we're out of the rain, I'm going to stop. Okay. The saran wrap has been removed. We're getting a slow motion look. It's very overcast. But this is a banyan tree, native of India. They grow beautifully here. You see how the trunk over there is so huge? The trunk forms this way. Let me stop the uh, camera for a moment. We'll do a macro. So, you see how that grows down? You know, remember the Tarzan movie, Swinging from the Vines? Well, that goes all the way up. I could swing on that vine. We used to, as child, children, we would braid these together and form the roots. And when they would reach the ground, they would take root and they become trunks. But here's a view of the park again. And of all names, it's huge. Much bigger than you can get an idea from here. It's called Merry Christmas Park. We once had a mayor named Christmas back in the 50s. So he it was a criminal and he got kicked out of office. So he named the park after his daughter. His name was Mary, M-E-R-R-I-E. -R -R -E. Very cute. But, uh, the, 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 like I say, this was a site that was excavated of limestone to make this roadway here back in the year 1902. Uh, I'm going to put the camera off. Here we see the line is doing very well, looking nice and black. So we saw the adventitious roots and how the banyan tree, I'm standing under the shade of the banyan tree. It's a good protector against lightning strikes too. Florida is the lightning capital of the world more lightning strikes in South Florida than anywhere else in the whole world. There is no lightning at the moment. But look at the size of this park. It's a wonderful place to bring your bicycle. It's got, this is the only place that has slopes. Over there beyond that cabana area, the slope is perhaps one in four, or one in three. So it's really good. It's fun for imitation mountain biking or powered biking if you have an e-bike. And uh, so that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and stop, pardon the seasickness, and we'll make a little video of this. We rode in the rain and then the rain stopped. And there's a lady with her dog way out in the distance walk, walking her dachshund. Uh, goodbye Merry Christmas Park, named after our former corrupt mayor of the city of Miami. See you all later. See you Lime. Goodbye.